Hello everyone and welcome to the NewTek TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, we're going to talk about bringing in remote video calls using Skype TX. So the first thing we need to do is set up one of our inputs as a Skype TX channel. To do that, we'll go up to input number one, click on that gear icon, and under our drop-down source, under local, you'll see that we have a Skype TX caller channel one and also channel two. So you can put those on different inputs if you want. And now this input is set up to receive a Skype input channel. Now on another system, we'll need to install the Skype TX controller software from the website. Now once Skype TX is installed, just log into your account, and then you'll be able to see all of the contacts in your list. Now in the top right corner of the screen, click on this icon here, and we'll need to start up a Skype TX channel. Now to do that, we'll need to enter in the IP address of our TriCaster. Now to find the IP address of your TriCaster, go to the top right corner of your screen and click on your notifications window. And at the very bottom is your IP address. So we're going to enter our IP address right here. And hit the plus button. Now we have two channels to choose from here, which we can set up on different inputs. Let's go ahead and set up this call under channel one. Now you'll notice that at the bottom of our Skype channel here, our return video, this is mix one of our TriCaster TC1. Now to make a call, simply go to your contacts list, find the person you wish to call and click the camera button. Now that my call is connected, you notice that I have video and audio coming through on input number one. Now this source can now be used like any normal live video source in our productions. Now if we take a look at what our Skype caller sees, they get the return video, tally, and audio back to them. So now any changes that I make on program will be reflected in what the caller sees. Now the audio that goes back to your Skype caller is automatically configured as a mix minus. Now a mix minus is an awesome way for them to hear the entire program without hearing their own audio causing any echo or distraction. Now an important aspect of remote calls is integrating private direction to your callers. So for that we have a talkback feature. So over here in our audio mixer, this is our talkback feature which we can assign any audio source to it, so a microphone, line level audio, NDI, you name it. And those can all be sent out to your callers. Now this only goes to your return caller if you click the talk button underneath the input that's going to your caller. So this is perfect for sharing information to your Skype caller uh, without having that being audible in your broadcast. So that's how you use the integrated Skype TX functionality to access remote calls. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to configure the four mix effect buses available on your TriCaster TC1.